So, you know, I have one last question about Dashers. We put a call out to our audience. They're very excited that I'd be chatting with you. A lot of Dashers, obviously, as you mentioned, you know, in the past year, a lot of folks have signed up to Dash. And, it, you know, there were a number of questions, but I feel like the, the main question that we got from our audience kind of revolved around what I'll call the accept screen, right? And really like yeah. the information that is provided to drivers upon accepting, you know, and obviously like, right, well, maybe not obvious, but right now, um, DoorDash provides kind of the total amount, including tips most of the time. And sometimes there's the opportunity for a bigger tip, which uh, I don't know. I don't know if you know this, but a lot of DoorDashers refer to this as hidden tips. <laughs> Um, so I'm, I'm curious, you know, kind of what is DoorDash, you know, and I know there've been some issues in the past, but like, how is DoorDash thinking now about the information that they provide to drivers and sort of making sure that it's transparent enough, but at the same time, you know, I think ensuring like a reliable experience on driver and customer side. Yeah. Ultimately for us, it's about providing the transparency that Dashers need to make an informed mm -hmm. decision about whether they want to do that delivery or, yeah. or not. And so if you, if you look at, you know, it's got the subtotal of the order, it's got the restaurant, uh, it's got yeah. the driving distance uh, and, you know, the Dasher, actually our, our data suggests that different Dashers have different philosophies. Some, mm -hmm. you know, some are doing a dollar per mile. Some are saying, oh, wait a minute, that, that restaurant, I don't, I don't like going to that restaurant because it's too slow. Yeah. Uh, I won't, so we I, won't name any names here, but there's definitely a few. <laughs> right. Well, you know, it's really busy at different times of day yeah. and dashers learn that over the course of time. And so our, our, our job is to give enough information so that dashers make an informed decision mm -hmm. uh, about, do I want to do that job or, or, or do I not? not? Um, and then, you know, we, we also want to make sure that the, there's, you know, enough uh, liquidity, if you yeah. will, in the system so that the customer demand is being, is being met. So like one of the things, for example, you're talking about the tips, right? So we'll show the DoorDash component and in in a portion of the tip, but we capped that because we found that a lot of times people were just waiting for the big, the big, mm -hmm. big tips kind of thing. And so I wouldn't, you know, I would characterize it differently. I would say it's a, you know, you get the, you get the full tip amount always, but then yeah. sometimes there's a bonus, right? There's a surprise that you get incremental money, um, Got it. on the and so one of the things we look very closely is is how how often people accept orders mm -hmm. and and that along with the philosophy of being transparent to dashers has yeah. served us well i think if you compare our accept modal uh which is what we call the screen you're talking about yeah. to others in the industry we have more information on that screen and that's why yeah what what acceptance rate are you sort of hoping from dashers on average or what are you guys kind of tracking there yeah, it's not a number that we haven't disclosed that number. It, it's it's it. less about it's less about an overall uh, acceptance rate. It's more about about how quickly you can get the 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 order accepted. Yeah. If, if you if you follow me, Got so it. you're not expecting a perfect score here because mm -hmm. you know sometimes dashers are like I'm done. I'm you yeah. know so you're going to get a no uh, in the, in that situation. Some dashers are like I don't want to go over there, so I'm yeah. I'm going to I'm going to go over here. So it's not a perfect science. Uh, what I'm looking for is making sure that the the dashers that quote unquote would normally accept ex because they think it's a good yeah. opportunity continue to do so. Yeah. I mean, I think this is actually really the challenge across the whole gig economy when you're hiring independent contractors and you sort of need to provide them with the total or, you know, the, a lot of information, right. About each job that they're accepting. And I think I agree yep. with you, like you mentioned, DoorDash does provide a lot more than other services, but at the same time, you know, you kind of have to balance that, that, you know, on an individual level as a dasher, if I see two different dashes and one pays a lot better, or one's going to be a lot easier, I'm going right. to opt for that easier one, you know, or the individual one. But over time, if I, keep doing that too often, right? And every dasher keeps doing that too often, then it's not as reliable of experience on the customer side. And so I'm just curious how you think about like relaying, because, you know, like I, I like to tell people like dashers and Uber drivers, like they're kind of, we're selfish, right? Like we think about what's best for ourselves in the moment and we don't right. really care about like the aggregate, you know, acceptance rate or, you know, time to accept on average. So how do you kind of relay that and like kind of get us bought in to, you know, like, Hey, yeah. we got to do this for the integrity of the system. Right. Well, I mean, ultimately we want to meet the, we want to meet both needs. And so, you know, you, you've probably seen, we do, we do. So there's the, 
the screen you're talking about, which illustrates the, the pay for that order. But we have other me methods, right? So we'll mm -hmm. have like bonus programs, for example, if you maintain a certain acceptance rate, yeah. uh, if you do a set of deliveries in a row uh, yeah. type thing, you'll make more money as a result of that. And so those techniques are designed to bridge the gap that you're talking about, which is to say, hey, like, you know, we're going to help the Dasher make more money in total. Yeah. But maybe we, want, we were trying to get them to think outside of the, only the individual delivery. Mm -hmm. Still can make the decision on, a, on an individual yeah. basis, but the prize uh, might be beyond the individual yeah. pay for that individual order. Yeah. And I, I think I like that method. I think that's the trend that I would like to see across the gig economy where sort of the best drivers, the most loyal drivers, you know, the highest rated drivers sort of get rewarded over time. And yet yep. you still have the ability to, you know, accept or reject. And, you know, I think it's, uh, it's taken a little longer than I've hoped um, across other, you know, not single out DoorDash, but other platforms and every platform, but uh, it does seem like we're moving in that direction. So, um,